Lesson 15, polynomials, partial fractions. Example 15, express x squared plus x plus 1 over x plus 1 all squared times x minus 1 in partial fractions. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. I'll show you the first method. So I'll write this out as x squared plus x plus 1 all over x plus 1 all squared times x minus 1 can be written as a over x plus 1 all squared plus b over x plus 1. Now, what I'm doing here is you'll notice this is OK. This is a polynomial degree 1 polynomial degree 0. Now, if, model, if we put this over a common denominator of x plus 1 all squared, this would then become a polynomial of degree 1 over a polynomial of degree 2. So it's quite a, a neat way of doing this. The, the other technique I'll show you where you have just a polynomial of degree 1 over the polynomial of degree 2. All right, so let's go ahead with this one. Looking at the numerators, we get x squared plus x plus 1 is identically equal to, now this one will become the a outside of x minus 1 plus b outside of x plus 1 times x minus 1 plus c outside of x plus 1 all squared. Now you know that there's quite a bit of expansion here to do. You could do it that way and then equate coefficients. But I'll use another technique. I'll use the substitution technique. This being an identity, it's, it's, it's valid for all values of x. So I'm going to let choose let x equal 1. Now in doing that, the, uh, the right hand side, left, sorry, the left hand side becomes 3. And that's equal to, notice here, this will go out, and this will go out, and we'll just get c times 2 all squared, which means that c is equal to 3 quarters straight off. Choosing the appropriate value for x is, is good. So I've, told, I've picked 1 here because that knocks out the a and the b in one go. Now I'm going to let x equals 0. And that means 1 is equal to, this becomes a minus a minus b plus c. So a plus b t and across the left hand side is equal to uh, 3 quarters minus 1 so a plus b equals minus a quarter and we'll keep that, we'll call that equation 1 alright now we'll go ahead and we'll let x equal minus 1 and by doing that I get becomes left hand side is just 1 is identically equal to and it just bec becomes putting the minus 1 there minus 2a and you note know that this will go make that a 0 and then let that a 0 so straight away we just get that a is equal to minus a half now taking the minus a half and putting that back into equation 1 we get minus a half plus b equals minus a quarter and of course that means that b is equal to a quarter right so we have it all here so that x squared plus x plus 1 all over x plus 1 all squared times x minus 1 is equal to, that'll be minus a half over x plus 1 all squared plus 1 quarter over x plus 1 plus 3 quarters over x minus 1. 
And what we'll do now is I'll just take out the change that into around a little bit more. That is three over four into x minus one plus one over four into x plus one minus one over two into x plus one all squared. Just making it a little bit nicer to look at. All right, now let's have a look at the um, the, the other technique. I'll write this as x squared plus x plus one over x plus one all squared times x minus one is identically equal to. Now I'll write this ax plus b over x plus one all squared plus c over x minus 1. So here it is, that's the degree 1, degree 2, it's okay, degree 0, degree 1. Alright, now we rewrite that as x squared plus x plus 1 at deadly equal to ax plus b times x minus 1 plus c outside of x plus 1 all squared. Now just to be different, I'll, I will expand this out. And now that becomes ax squared minus ax plus bx minus b plus, this will be cx squared plus 2cx plus c. Okay, now get getting them all together, you're going to have an uh, a plus c x squared, and then you'll have a plus, uh, it'll be b plus 2c minus a, X, getting all those together, and then you'll have a plus C minus B. All right. Therefore, A plus C must equal one. That's one equation. B plus two C minus A equals one. Other equation, and C minus B equals one third equation. Now in th in three, I'll say that B taking it across back equals C minus one, and I'll substitute that back into two. So in two, we have C minus one plus 2c minus a equals 1. Okay, so that will give me 3c minus a equals 2. I'll call that equation 4. And we know a plus c equals 1. That was equation 1. And therefore, we'll just add those two together and we'll get 4 plus 1. And we're going to get 4c is equal to 3, which gives that c equals 3 quarters. Which, of course, that means that b must equal, back in this one, 3 quarters minus 1, that's minus a quarter. And we know that up here a plus c equals 1, a plus c equals 1, so um, a plus 3 quarters equals 1, which means that a must equal 1 quarter. So we can now uh, take those values and put it back into our original one. So with ax plus b on x plus 1 all squared, 
So we've got that x squared plus x plus 1 all over x plus 1 all squared x minus 1 equals now this will be uh, 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter over x plus 1 all squared plus 3 quarters over x minus 1. Then we have a common quarter through here, so we'll write that as 1 quarter outside of, this will be x minus 1 over x plus 1 all squared plus 3 over x minus 1. That's a, just a different way of expressing it which could be a convenient way of doing it as well.